Bolus pemphigoid. Now, think of your skin like a sandwich. You know, you've got the top layer, which is the epidermis, and the bottom layer, which is the dermis, usually sticking together nicely. But in Bullis pemphigoid, it's like your immune system gets bored and, as a way to entertain itself, decides to start making antibodies that attack the glue holding the layers of your skin together. The reason for this is completely unknown, but that attack would essentially cause your skin to start forming itchy blisters anywhere on your skin like your arms or legs, like it's auditioning for a bubble wrap commercial. If you're unlucky, the blisters may also form in your mouth, tongue, and throat, making simple tasks like cleaning your mouth and swallowing very difficult. Now the thing is, while these blisters may contain blood and look extremely painful, nine times out of ten, they're not painful at all. However, if they unfortunately burst open, it can progress into a very painful sore and a breeding ground for infection. While this disease affects about 312 out of 1 million people yearly and mostly targets those over 60 years, the condition can still be treated with creams and ointments that you can rub directly on the affected areas. Graves Disease if you own a car and go for regular maintenance, then you're probably on a first-name basis with your mechanic and have a love-hate relationship with your car's thermostat. It's that little gadget responsible for making sure your engine doesn't turn into a barbecue. Now imagine your body has its very own thermostat, and it's called the thyroid gland. This tiny powerhouse keeps your temperature, heart rate, and metabolism purring like a well-oiled engine. Now, if you're unfortunately amongst the 2.1 million people with Graves disease, your immune system would release a certain antibody that would attach itself to your thyroid gland like a clingy X, and this would lead to an unhealthy overproduction of thyroid hormones. It's like your thyroid chugged a six-pack of energy drinks and signed up for a marathon. Your heart would start pounding very fast, and your hands would also shake like someone who's holding a jackhammer. You'd lose weight faster than keeping a New Year's resolution, even while eating as much as a hungry hippo. In severe cases, an overactive thyroid thyroid can lead to more serious heart conditions and cause weakened bones, so it's also best to head straight to the hospital before your condition gets to this level. Bachette's Disease if you were unfortunately unlucky to contact chickenpox at least once in your life, then you might understand how crazy and uncomfortably disgusting this disease can be. Now, imagine that discomfort doubled because that's what Bachette's disease feels like. It's like chickenpox squared, but with a twist that would make even the most sadistic game show host wince. Instead of dotting your skin with itchy red spots, this nasty ailment decides to spice things up by appearing inside your mouth and genitals which is way worse. These sores are caused when there's inflammation in your blood vessels and eyes, which normally happens when your immune system decides that it wants to start a riot by attacking all your healthy tissues. You would also feel intense joint pain that would feel like someone is grinding your bones. Imagine if the Hulk decided to become a chiropractor and used a wood chisel instead of his hands. This would be accompanied by eye inflammation that would leave you feeling like someone poured lava directly into your eyeballs. As if that wasn't enough torture, the skin ulcer would grow into painful, pus-filled lesions that look like you've been paintballing with a grudge. To make matters even worse, every single symptom would hit you at once, and if you don't get treatment with the proper medications to suppress the inflammation quickly, you risk losing your eyesight and damaging your intestines, veins, and arteries. Good Pasture Syndrome if you have good pasture syndrome, it would feel like a tiny bulldozer magically appeared inside your body and went crazy tearing down your kidneys and lungs. So what happens is your antibodies suddenly go on a rave and begin to attack a certain protein known as collagen, which is found all over your body. But instead of attacking the collagens everywhere, your antibodies would concentrate all their attacks on the collagens in your lungs and kidneys. It's as if your antibodies got their GPS coordinates mixed mixed up and now think your vital organs are enemy territory. This would make you start bleeding from your nose and coughing up blood because your body's filter system is damaged. You'll also be unable to pee normally, and even when you do, the pee would come out mixed 
with blood. This impromptu blood donation leaves you paler than a vampire at a beach day party. You'd also be unable to breathe well because your lungs are severely damaged too, and whenever you take a deep breath, it'd sound like there's a bunch of keys rattling inside of them. Symptoms can get really severe if left untreated. We're talking about severe bleeding in your lungs and kidney problems that make you long for the days when your biggest worry was forgetting to flush the toilet after peeing. Autoimmune uveitis. So you decided to visit your neighbors and give them some freshly baked cookies for the new cat. You're all excited, cooing at the kitten, but as you bend down to give it some love, the little furball freaks out and scratches your left eye, making you a perfect fit for a main character in a horror movie. Now you're bleeding like a leaky faucet, so you dash inside and try to clean up the mess. But for some reason, you decide not to get it checked at the hospital because, hey, it's just a scratch, right? Big mistake. You wake up the next day and bam, your eye looks like it's trying to do cosplay as a tomato that's been stung by a bee. It'll literally feel like someone pried your eyes open and poured hot melting lava inside them. These symptoms are hallmarks of autoimmune uveitis, a condition caused by an infection where your immune system decides your eye is public enemy number one. It's like your body's version of a civil war, but instead of north versus south, it's immune system versus eye. Ball. If, for some stupid reason, you still decide to leave it untreated and maybe just place an ice pack on your eyes, the symptoms would escalate to blurred vision and light sensitivity so severe you'll think you're a vampire auditioning for the next Twilight movie. And for our grand finale, total blindness. You'd be surprised that this condition is actually pretty common, with up to 4 million new cases each year, with the majority of victims being adults. Antiphospholipid syndrome, APS. In the last five years, you've had up to three miscarriages, and it's all because of this autoimmune condition you have, which is antiphospholipid syndrome, also known as Hughes syndrome. This syndrome is like your body's own version of a traitor, because your antibodies, which should be defending you against invaders like germs, decide to attack proteins bound to phospholipids, a type of fat found in all your cells. This cellular betrayal creates a traffic jam in your blood vessels, causing blood clots to pop up faster than bad sequels in Hollywood, creating roadblocks that would make even the most patient driver lose their cool. These clots would basically block your arteries and veins, so if you're trying to create a tiny human, all your efforts would literally be wasted because nutrients won't be able to get to the fetus in your womb. Meanwhile, your blood platelets and red blood cells would also decide to go on an unannounced vacation, leaving you short-staffed and in chaos. All of these complications would be associated with a constant headache that would make you feel like your head is hosting a fight with a very angry large bull. You would also experience intense chest and stomach pain, swollen limbs that look like you're hiding water balloons under your skin. You'll be consistently out of breath like someone who just ran a marathon and flip-flops. However, it's not all doom and gloom because this condition can be managed with the proper treatment to prevent blood clotting and miscarriage. Hashimoto's thyroiditis You've probably heard the popular saying, slow and steady wins the race. Well, Hashimoto's thyroiditis took it a bit too literally, because that's what the disease would do to you. It would turn your system and body into a combination of a tortoise and sloth, and honestly, you won't be winning any race. Ironically, the symptoms also take a long time to show. It's like that friend who takes forever to get ready. By the time the symptoms show up, you've aged three years and forgotten why you were waiting in the first place. So you could have this sneaky disease for ages and not even know it until one morning you wake up looking like a bullfrog in mating season. Your neck would swell up like a hot air balloon courtesy of your new friend Goiter. This condition happens when a swelling starts in your thyroid glands. The swelling happens when your antibodies decide, for reasons only they know, to start an all-out war on your thyroid tissues, causing inflammation and damage. This damage means your thyroid can't produce enough of the hormones your body needs to run smoothly. And as thyroid hormone production slows down, so does everything else. It's like your body is stuck in slow motion. Suddenly, walking to the bathroom would feel like you're trudging through through a swamp. Your metabolism would slow to a crawl, therefore you'll be gaining weight faster than you can find cat videos on TikTok. Your hair would start thinning and falling out, which would probably leave you looking like Mr. Clean in no time. Burger's disease. 
So, your kidneys are like super efficient water filters for your body that clean out your blood and throw away all the dirty junk to the curb. But if you have Berger's disease, your immune system would basically send a different antibody meant to protect your immune system from bacteria and viruses. But the problem is, these new cleanup guys are like the world's clumsiest maids. Instead of doing what they were sent to do, they would get stuck in your kidneys' filters and cause more dirt to pile up. It's like trying to unclog your toilet with the feather duster. You're just making a bigger mess. Over time, your once pristine kidney filters turn into something that looks like it belongs in a teenager's bedroom, clogged and flamed and just plain gross. Just imagine if someone went to your clean, blockage-free toilet and decided to put super glue, slime, and dirt down the drain. The crazy part is that this kidney chaos can go on for years without you noticing a thing. It's like a ninja, silently wreaking havoc until one day, BAM! You go to pee and instead of lemonade, you're looking at a toilet bowl that resembles a poor mixture of Coca-Cola and Pepsi. You'll start to puff up like a human marshmallow as your body clings to fluids like a hydrophobic hoarder, which may cause high blood pressure and severe muscle and joint pain. If you do not receive immediate medical attention, these symptoms will lead to fatal complications like acute kidney failure and heart problems. At this point, the only thing that can literally save you is dialysis or a kidney transplant. Want to find out more about all the weird autoimmune diseases that might be lurking around the corner? Well then join our Discord server today. Lichen planus. When unwelcome guests like bacteria or viruses crash your body's party, your immune system plays bouncer and sends out an army of antibodies to kick them to the curb. But if you have lichen planus, your immune system goes full Karen and attacks the protein in your skin and mucous membranes for absolutely no reason. This causes your skin to throw a tantrum, resulting in purple flat top rashes that look like tiny angry UFOs landing first around your wrists and elbows. Then, as if your body is playing a twisted game of the floor is lava, these rashes spread to the fronts of your lower legs before invading your scalp, genital area, and inside of your mouth. It's like your body's hosting its own unwanted purple people-eater convention. That's not all, because your nails would also decide to join the circus, changing colors faster than a chameleon on steroids, cracking like a bad joke, and falling off like it's their job. The good news is that the rash isn't painful, but if you mistakenly scratch it open, you'll become a five-star resort for painful infections. Unfortunately, this condition has no cure, so you'll have to carry this unwanted souvenir around for a few months or even years. You'll need to slather on corticosteroid creams or ointments to calm your skin's temper tantrum or take medications that lower your immune system's enthusiasm. It's like telling your overzealous internal bouncer to chill out. Pernicious anemia. Okay, let's assume that your body is a car. But instead of using gas, it uses a special fuel known as vitamin B12. Now, this special fuel is necessary for nerve function and the production of red blood cells, which are the UPS drivers of your insides, making sure all your organs and tissues get their oxygen packages on time. But if you have pernicious anemia, your body is a bit of a drama queen. It decides that the stomach cells responsible for absorbing vitamin B12 are bad guys. So your immune system attacks these cells like an overenthusiastic security guard. Now, because of these attacks, your stomach cannot absorb vitamin B12 properly even if you're eating foods rich in it. It's like having a car with a fuel tank with holes in it. No matter how much you try to fill it up, the fuel just leaks out. Without enough vitamin B12, your body can't make enough red blood cells, which means that all your organs and tissues won't be getting enough oxygen. This can make you feel super tired like you've been awake for days. You'd also feel weak, dizzy, or short of breath. It's as if your body is constantly running on fumes. If left untreated, it can affect your digestive system, nervous system, and heart causing issues like palpitations, weight loss due to loss of appetite, numbness, or a tingling sensation in your hands and feet, and soon, hallucinations. Eosinophilic esophagitis, EOE. 
If you've been to a pool and glided down a water slide, then you can easily imagine what your esophagus looks like and how it works. Your esophagus is a tube that connects your mouth to your stomach. So when you swallow your food, it glides down smoothly through this slippery tube, heading for a splash in the stomach. But if you're one of the very few people with eosinophilic esophagitis, or EOE, it's like your immune system suddenly decides to play the worst lifeguard on Earth. It sends a bunch of eosinophils, which which are certain white blood cells, to guard your esophagus. Now, these eosinophils are like paranoid bouncers at a club, treating every piece of food like it's trying to sneak in with a fake ID. This causes inflammation, making your esophagus swollen and irritated. Now, instead of a fun water slide, your esophagus becomes more like a sticky, narrow tube. Swallowing food becomes a chore. It's like trying to push a marshmallow through a keyhole. You'd have this feeling like there's always something stuck in your throat, even when you're not eating. You would also experience stomach pain, heartburn, nausea, and vomiting, and regurgitate your food like a goat chewing its cud. The tricky part is figuring out what's causing this overreaction. It could be certain foods like dairy, wheat, and seafood playing the villain. But the good news is there are treatments to help calm those overzealous eosinophils to help make your esophagus slippery again like that water slide at the pool. Thank <laughs> you.